Good morning. Good morning. What's your candy? The candy. Nineteen days until Christmas. Okay, Yay. Why number six? And these guys always start with candy. Reese's pieces for you. Oh. Oh, I'm probably gonna put a cup. Okay. And today is a day six of Advent calendar. Okay, what's in the chest this time? No? I don't know. Phone heart that has a chest on it. No, couldn't be. <laughs> yep. Show me. Thank you. Read it. Love you guys, you're the best. Kids, you can pick up your thing, the presents in the chest. Okay. Presents in the chest. Look at the chest. Unlock, you open. <gasps> Whoa! Johnny Rancher, what's this? Maya has got a jello, Jolly Can Rancher jello. Uh, watermelon taste and Christopher has got the book too the Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets uh, Christopher doesn't really like jello and uh, this oopsie uh, this is a my do you know what's in this uh, small packet Christopher is watching it's icing, it's icing. we can uh, it's a molding icing we can um, Make stuff of it, like shape things and different uh, mm -hmm. de yeah, edible decorations. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's open it. Ooh, it good. So let's make that jello it's right going away. To, uh, it tastes absolutely terrible. <laughs> Christopher doesn't like jello, like and uh, especially doesn't like watermelon taste. All of it. Uh, so do I. I love watermelon. Yes, all of it. But I can't stand anything with watermelon because it has like a artificial like, melony taste. It tastes like a bubblegum mixed with a melon. Not a watermelon, just a melon. Yes, exactly. With, with, with bubblegum. So, um, but it's a Jolly Rancher, right? Let's see what's different about it. It's Probably just nothing. the exact same. Let's open it and see what we can do for Christmas from the icing. I don't know what this is. This is called fondant. Fondant. Okay, that's not icing. It's fondant, right, Maya? You okay. you tricked me in the first time. Uh, so we have some Play-Doh stuff here. You can just call it edible Play-Doh. Yeah. So you so you can just mold things from it, like uh, using it like a clay. You can also roll it with a rolling pin and then uh, make use a cookie cutter like this or you can use a knife or whatever comes to your mind. Mm -hmm. This is fancy. Oh, awesome. So we're using parchment paper since it was sticky and you're using little molds. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how cute! Beautiful. We could also find some more molds and you can use this silicone mold. Uh, there are beautiful buttons here. Or oh, these patterns. This is uh, for the cakes for... Uh, my, how is it called again? The thing? Fondant. Fondant. For fondant. Here you can make uh, the cake wrapping if you do the long things. Cute. You can try these buttons too. They they come out cute. Uh, once I've made a cute cake for Maya for Maya's birthday when she was two, what? I think. I don't even remember. Using it. the buttons. So I'm gonna take some fondant, and then I'm gonna put into this flower mold. Yeah, but make sure. The excess, uh, to, to put more, the excessive is not good here because it won't make a flat surface. So and can then you we... take it out. It's very cute. Oh, okay, it's cute. And I'm going to make a little mold, a little flower. Cute. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Yeah, these are buttons, right? Okay, Christopher is doing a creative job here. Oh, look, that's a little face. <laughs> Cute. Cute. The buttons. This is like his little, this is like the hair ocean. <laughs> Hair slash ocean. Or you can also, you know what you can do? What? You can make a snowman. <gasps> Just shape it with your hands, little balls. Let me make two more. First. And I'm going to make jello with a beautiful silicone molds. I like them. They're so convenient for everything. Not only for cupcakes. I think I bought them from IKEA. Well, I'll use them that as well. Oh, look at this, guys. Like what Christopher has made. This little guy has hair. Which looks so realistic. It's, it's a circle. And then I poked holes in it. And then I just made a little pancake. And I just cut off little pieces and put it on yeah, there. I like the hair, totally. You are, are you being smart? Oh, look what Mai is making. A little, little snowman for Christmas. He's gonna have no buttons. Aww. So here's my snowman. It has three buttons. It has a little smiley face, a little eyes. Here's a stick arm. Aww. A little scarf. Doesn't he need my uh, um, a button hat? What if he gets a button hat like this? <laughs> no. Aww. Stop. No? Don't like it? Okay. So, Christopher, you're shaping any something else? Mm -hmm. uh, we can make Santa hats, we can make something else, maybe. Tiara! Oh, look, so he's got a hat! No, it's a tiara! A little tiara hat? Beautiful. This shaping tool is kind of uh, good, right? This one. It has a, a poking st a poking part and this part, and also Christopher is using a regular knife. It's um, sharper and, e and easier to cut the edges. Can that be a seat for my snowman? Oh wow, Christopher! Can I have the, a closer look? Yes. It's kind of hidden. Can you put it here back? He made a tree trunk. Oh my gosh! It's so realistic. So cute. Look at this. It's amazing. And now I kind of, I don't know what you made it for, but it kind of I, I asks, just made a tree it kind of asks this little snowman on top. And Maya, aren't you forgetting something? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. A little most important part of the snow, snowman. It's, it's going to be tricky to put in, you know. Ta-da! It is... No, yes, no. It is very cute! <laughs> Can we combine these two yes. now? <laughs> Just be careful, Maya. Put it on top. Oh. Aww. <laughs> the scarf is kind of going down. Oh, it's a beautiful creation of both of you. And we combine them together. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love that. On her head. That's just a adorable. Ooh. I wasn't expecting that to come out so cool. Mama, can you put some little... Can you make a Christmas tree with vines? Yes, uh, let's do it. You make a bunch of little things. I usually work on one thing a lot. Yeah. I make a few things, but I work And now the creation of the Christmas tree has started. Oops. So Christopher made this kind of carcass. And now he's doing something fancy. Oh, you cut off a little star for the tree? Okay. So look guys at our <coughs> result. It's amazing. Christopher just finished the tree <laughs> with little stars. And uh, a snowman is standing on the stump. Um, so it's, it makes a beautiful Christmas installation. Mm -hmm. So, guys, 
Uh, how do you like our... Um... Oh, I love them. <laughs> and comment down below which one you like the most. Yeah, I, I, w I wish the comments wouldn't be uh, turned off, but unfortunately we can't do that. Uh, so, uh, Merry coming Christmas to everyone, 19 Christmas. days until Christmas. Uh, you can totally do that at home, it's easy and uh, not even expensive. And bye, see you tomorrow. Bye. bye.